Welcome everybody to a quick tutorial video on Streamlabs for my favorite feature, the replay buffer. Right, first thing you've got to do is actually set it up. So you press the, the little settings button, go to output, click replay buffer and turn it on. Now how this feature works is say you've uh, something cool's just happened in game or a really weird bug has happened in say Starfield, right? You, you, you want to get this out and show people. So you set up how long it is you want uh, this recording to be. And right after the event happens, you're going to press a button, which I'll show you how to do in a second. You're going to press the hotkey button, and it's going to save the previous amount of time up until the point you hit that button. Give or take a couple of seconds. So if you set it to 120 seconds, it'll save the last two minutes. This is how I make my shorts. So what you're going to do is uh, you set that up, go to recording, and this is where it's going to be. It's going to be in this file here, in this folder, but it's going to have the word replay in the name which is handy to help figure out exactly uh, what it is. Now that we have that sorted out, you're going to need to make a hotkey for it. So come over to hotkeys, find the save replay, make a hotkey. So it's control something, shift, whatever, it, it doesn't matter. Just whatever the key is, you're going to press it, and it's going to save your replay for you. And so now that we have it set up, how do we actually use it? Well, when you're in the game, you'll see your game up in here. You need to click this button here to start your replay buffer. Once you've clicked it, now when you press that button, that hotkey that we just set up, it'll save up until that point, whatever you've been doing. This is a great feature to use because it doesn't actually use up your hard drive space to say record a five hour stream. You just record the segments of it that you actually like. And you can set that buffer to as long as you want. It can be 30 minutes if you like. When streaming, it's a little bit easier because we don't have to turn it on first. You can just come into your general settings, come down to here, and have automatically start replay buffer when streaming. If this is clicked on, the moment you start streaming, the replay buffer will automatically start for you. There is none of there is no option for this when you're just normally recording or just playing anything. It's that's why you got to use it manually when you're when you when you're not streaming. And that's it. That's how you use the replay buffer. It's how you set it up. I hope that helps you. If you've got any more questions or want to know anything else, please leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you to my channel members and patrons. You guys are awesome. Links down below. Like, share, comment, subscribe if you, if you found this helpful. And I'll see you in the next one.